for the end of the morning to be able to juggle swords as comfortably as one of the Zerbinis herself. It's Gabriella. You make it look so easy. She does. She's incredible. All right, we've got the ringmaster joining us once again, Richard Curtis. I like that you're keeping your distance. Are these swords actually sharp? Yeah, they are. They're real swords. As a matter of fact, they're balanced. They're balanced juggling knives is what they are, but they can, in fact, hurt you and harm you if you get hit with one across the eye or whatever. She's a tremendous juggler. We're really pleased to have Gabby with us. Not only does she juggle, but her, her main expertise is she's a beautiful aerial star. She uh, does a fantastic trapeze act, and that we're just getting in and just moving into the RA Center here. We're not quite set up for that. It'll be one of those special things you can look forward to when you come to see the circus. Well, and that's just it. We jumped the gun a little bit this morning. We decided to give people at home an uber behind-the-scenes look because a you're taste, literally just a taste yeah, of still all the fun we're going to have. coming in this morning, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so we're going to try juggling a, a bit more in just a second here, but what is Ryan about to take a, a, a shot of here? He's going to walk into the big top. Now, what's happening right now is we're under construction. Normally what will happen, it takes about a day to set up the actual shell of the big top. We've got about 216 stakes that go in the ground. Main poles stretch about 20 meters, almost 60 feet up into the air. And then big swooping sides and it seats about 3,000 people. We played about 330 degrees. Those seats are like a bleacher system, a, a really complex bleacher system that they set up. It takes about a half a day. And then what will happen is one of the other hats that I wear mm -hmm. is the performance director and prop boss. I'll go in and put the, the, the finishing touches. I'll put the floor. We have a rubber floor that we put down for the performers and the animals. Right. We have a ring curb, uh, which is what the, the circus has been recognized for years in its performance in the round. We have a VIP seating. You can upgrade seats and get steps away from all the action. Mm -hmm. Curtains and all kinds of really neat stuff. That goes oh! God, there's the torch. Oh, we've got flames. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm quite ready to take it to that level. Yeah, but I've got a, a couple of clubs yep. in my hands. Gabriella, do you have any uh, tips <clears throat> for me? While she's juggling, I can show you the <laughs> best place. Can show you. The she can't juggle into yeah. up. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay. Actually, what you want to have two. Are you right-handed or left? -handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed. Okay. Well, normally, what uh, I've been taught to to do a little bit juggle is just you start with two, kind of get the, the the turn, and then maybe switch them as oh, they come oh, to your hands oh. like that. But then you take three, but. Go ahead and start with two. Start with two. Start yep. with two. All right. Start flipping one just to get the get feel that. of the tumble. There you go. Oh, she's good. There you go. There you go. Uh, now, they <laughs> will. Get the feet into they, it. They're actually know. weighted and designed to where they'll actually tumble for you. You just have to get in. I've been told that juggling isn't so much about juggling. It's about the art of catching. And that having, makes sense. Yeah, to have in your hands. Okay. And, Focus less right on the place. throw and more on the catch. That's right. There you go. Hey, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in the proximity of a juggler and had one hit me. That's pretty neat. I was Normally getting you them. in on it. That's, That's just okay. it. Uh, listen, we were talking about how the, the circus is celebrating 251 yeah, years. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular here for us. It's it's a family fair under the circus. I've also married in the family. I've been married to a wonderful uh, gal for about 17 years. And it's really magical. I did it with them. So the kids work, learn a wonderful work ethic. Um, we get to travel as a family. My kids are virtual school students, so they, they still get their education, which is a wonderful thing because there was a time where I could imagine kids were falling through the gaps on that part. Right. But they not only get their education, but they have a wonderful lifestyle that they live, watching the circus going on and, and, and things of that nature. But then they have options at the end of the day. You know, it's very supported, a lot of emailing, a lot of contacting on the phone and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, 251 years. As a matter of fact, Tarzan, our producer, and the patriarch of the family, tells stories of the family first crossing north parts of Africa, which is really neat. Actual stories through the desert where they were laying under real circus wagons and fixing. And back then, there wasn't so many landmarks, so they would use these barrels. Uh, and they spoke...